So we saw the machine in the preview, it's a pretty big machine, um, but it, it, it does need folds and motor lock. Um, but let's just get on how this machine works. So the basics of this machine are that the, there are pistons here. These pistons here push these balls into the stuff. How do they push the balls into those stuff? Well, if you click A, this piston here will be pushed only. If you click B, only this piston will be pushed. C, those two, those two pistons will be pushed. So it will those it will push the balls into the, the stuff here. Now, the release mechanism on this thing is also kind of the same thing. It has these pistons here which push this thing, but it has it, this, the pistons on the bottom here push this bar here, and this bar here will go over here, and it will push this thing over here. Then it will force this thing to move out here, releasing the lock on this thing. Now, the, now the thing is, sometimes if you... Um, balls might get loose, they don't, but let's just say they do, then they will be caught in this system here. This system here also refills, uh, goes up here and refills these balls here, so, it, so you, don't, you don't run out of balls to type with. As you can see, it goes here, around, and whoop, all the way there. Um, these stuff here are actually the reading stuff on the thing. Now, it doesn't read now, it's just I'm gonna work on that in the future, but basically, when a ball goes here, it's, it will push this thing up half a block and it'll be able to detect that and it will output a text block in the future. It's not done, but it will do that. So just start up the thing. So the machine has started, um, that means the conveyors are now moving. So if you want to, let me just show you how it works. So the balls here, you can see that how they're cycling around. So if we want to say high, high is, we'll push that piston there, as you can see, and we'll release those locks, as you can see right there. Those locks have been released, and since I held it down more than I usually do, it released two of those stuff. Now, as you can see, it detects that there's a H, what? Oh, that's because I already went that. So wait, let's just do it. That was an H, and let's type in I. As you can see, the I is down there. The locks will re will release, and it will detect that on these stuff here. As you can see, it went up and down. Now on the bottom here, let me show you how it works. It's basically the same concept. It pushes this thing, which then pushes that. As you can see. Uh, I'm rusty with this machine, so I'm not used to the timing, but that's basically how it works. Um, let me show you this thing. It's a, the numbers. So basically, the alphabet is A is one, B is two, and C is three in binary. The numbers are so zero is twenty six, one is twenty eight. 2 is 29, 4 is 30, and so on. And the symbols plus, minus, and equals are also after the numbers. So I don't know what that is, but yeah, I'm guessing it's somewhere like 36 is plus, and so on. And But these colors here do have a purpose, so A, as, let me show you. So, A here. This is A, this is B, this is C. They have different colors. So that's 25, that's 20, 250, 40, and it, and so on. And D here is, is 230. So the, with the exception of A, they all go down by 10. Um, so that can show you where the, if you want to have troubleshoots and stuff, they can show you what letter you, you can see where to start. These red stuff here are just the, um, the vowels. These blue stuff here are the numbers that pushes, and the red stuff here are the symbols, as you can see. It's pretty organized, it's an organized mess. Um, the reason why I separated these two systems so they I don't put pistons on top of pistons is because eventually the pistons will be compressed too much by other pistons, so this thing kind of gives it less slack, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you.